Jeep knows its owners are passionate folks who love to modify their vehicles. So every year, ahead of the Easter Safari in Moab, Jeep rolls out a bunch of concept vehicles to show some possibilities for modifying these off-roaders. The vehicles range from sensible off-roading rigs to outlandish pie-in-the-sky toys, but they're all downright cool. We're here in Royal Oak, Michigan to check some of them out in the metal. The Shortco Concert is a throwback to the Jeep CJ5 from the 1950s, but it's 14 inches shorter than today's Wrangler. Inside, Jeep ripped out the back seats, giving you way more space for a cooler full of rugged refreshments and a picnic blanket. And up front, the seats are covered in this really cool red retro plaid. There's no carpeting either, there's just rubber floor mats. But all in all, it's very, very simple. I think this is what people think of when they say they want a Jeep for the summer. Just something really simple and back to basics for going to the ice cream store or going to the lake to meet your friends and cracking a Fago by the beach. You may have heard that Jeep's got its engines providing military vehicles, and this Crew Chief 715 concept really plays that up. It's named for the Kaiser 715 military vehicle produced in the 1960s, and it looks like it's ready to hit the battlefield itself. These are real military-spec 40-inch tires on the beadlock wheels, for instance, and there's a built-in air compressor to help fill them up once you're on the trail. This concept also has a five-foot pickup bed out back. Now, this isn't the first time Jeep's shown us a Wrangler concept with a pickup bed, but it's especially interesting to see it now because we've seen spy photos showing that the next-generation Wrangler will probably offer a pickup version by 2019 or 2020. So far, we've only been looking at concepts based on the Wrangler, but this Jeep Comanche concept, it's based on the new Renegade crossover. Engineers took it though, and they stretched the wheelbase by six inches. They turned the roof into this cool canvas convertible roof. And out back, they added a five foot pickup bed where normally the back seats and cargo area would be. And as if that wasn't enough for us car nerds, there's a turbo diesel engine, a new winch, a lift kit, and off-road tires. This is the Trail Storm, and it's the most realistic one of the Jeep concepts here. Now by that I mean that you can go and get all this stuff. Every part that you see on this one comes from the Jeep Performance Parts or Mopar catalogs. In theory, you could go down to your local Jeep dealer and order all the suspension, wheels, bumpers, all the other parts, and put it together and create this Jeep for yourself. It's the sort of build for someone who's just getting into the Jeep lifestyle and wants to amp up their Wrangler. It has a mild lift kit with Fox shocks, tougher Dana axles, and a monstrous winch built into steel Rubicon bumpers. The Jeep Chief concept is based on a modern-day Wrangler Unlimited, but it harkens back to the Cherokee from the 1970s. So that means lots of retro design cues like the chrome wheels and chrome bumper, the angled nose that's a little bit akin to the one on the Wagoneer. And inside, there's a lot of retro touches too. There's this awesome Hawaiian theme with touches like a hula girl on the dashboard, vintage surf stickers everywhere, and of course, a wooden tiki design shifter. Personally, I think the coolest part of the Chief concept is the back, where you've got these real wood slats for the floor and roof of the cargo area. Doesn't this whole vehicle look perfect to take on spring break to go to the beach with all your buddies? I actually really, really want to take it home for the weekend. If you want to learn more about any of these Jeep concepts, visit us at motorone.com. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this, and leave a comment below to let us know which Jeep concept you want to drive home this weekend.